First and ten as we go to the final quarter. The ball just short of the Auburn 26-yard line in possession of Alabama with the Crimson Tide leading 21 to 7 and Sherman Williams. Cut back, cut back, cut back. Find some daylight. And is finally knocked off his feet at the 17-yard line. Up man, Lynch, on second down and two. Trying for his first down, and he's close, but I don't know that he made it. Gary Walker, big 96 to ball down for Auburn. That offensive line for Alabama doing a nice job. Uh, we talked about losing four starters from last year's team, and this offense coming into this game really didn't have a personality going against the defensive line for Auburn, four seniors that have been around and been sacking quarterbacks all around the conference. And that uh, line is leading the way for Alabama today. Williams dives, I don't think he made it. They were four out of four on third down conversions. Sherman Williams never really got off the ground. There was a tiger at the top of the pile. Depends on the spot, but it does not appear from here that he is going to have it. Fourth down, the, uh, the referee, Bill Goss, is uh, signaling right now he's not even going to measure. Nope, not even bringing the chains on. Oh, on there. When you convert four times on third down in one possession, you are chewing up the clock. Yep. And that's exactly what Alabama's been doing with this possession. And they're going to go. Well, I'm sure Gene decided that I'm going to go for it twice on running plays. So Parker tries it this time. He had to get that ball just about to the 15-yard line. And that's where he has it, just about the 15-yard line. Twenty-four-seven would not be more comforting than twenty-one-seven. Of course, Proctor missed on the first try today from 36 yards. Here's your stretch. First down. Ooh, that was close. Well, when you make when you go for it on third down and you run a play, you decide, well, if I don't make it on third, I'll run it. I can make it. On one of the two running plays, I can make it. Terry knew that was a big play. Well, so did Beeps. 15 time plays so far in it. And Even if you don't score. Bundle of time. Alabama's won on that drive. Right. This is Williams. Inside the five. Boy, he's pretty good on that cutback, isn't he? Watch that. Yeah. He slams that right foot down, and he's going full speed on the next step. He's, he's cutting back. Watch as he's going to come up here, and then he's going to go all the way around the offensive line. Lynch, the fullback, is going to go up and then around. He starts inside and then goes around. Look at the blocking. Everybody has a man. Lynch knocks his linebacker four or five yards downfield. That's just good blocking. First and goal from the Auburn four. Williams taken down at the Auburn seven. Number 96, Gary Walker with his second big play in this Alabama possession. That time, Auburn got across the line of scrimmage. Didn't get anywhere near it. <laughs> Here's the third quarter stats. Look at the uh, Alabama rushing and passing yardage, 186 yards. That's called balance. Second and goal from the seven. Williams, nothing doing. He's back at the nine. Marcellus Mostella brought him down. A sophomore from Gadsden. So Williams in the last two plays has lost five yards. Well, and, and one of the reasons is that the, the defense of the Tigers is getting across the line of scrimmage. They're not waiting. They're coming across. 47, Mostella is right there. He plays off the block and then gets across the line of scrimmage. Look what I found. Yeah. 
third and goal from the nine. Pass. Yep. Walker, last time, throws into the end zone. It's intercepted. Picked off by Brian Robinson. His eighth of the season. And the Auburn Tigers have the ball out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. 18, maybe. So a turnover by Alabama. They come away empty. 19 plays. They run. They get no points. Yeah, this is news, too, because Barker doesn't throw many interceptions. And one of the things that Auburn was good at all year was sacking the quarterback and picking off passes. Robinson, as you mentioned, had seven coming in. He ran one back for a touchdown. He's ran three back for touchdowns in his career. Parker didn't see him. Barker didn't see Robinson, was only looking to the outside. They start at the 19 with Davis and Frazier in the backfield behind Patrick Nix. 21 to 7 ball game. Nix pumps it. He's Nix got throws it. it. He's got a guy. He's got Bailey. Thomas Bailey all the way down to the Alabama 33 yard line. So Auburn trying to strike quickly. Go big and they get a big result. And they're, and they're picking on the true freshman. Look out here, one-on-one, -on -one, he's gonna run a little hook route and then go, the freshman towns and bites on it. If this ball is thrown properly, it's a touchdown. Get it out in front of him. He has to wait for it, and then the game catches up. 33-yard line of Alabama, first down Auburn. This thing is turned completely around right here. Carrying the ball is Joe Frazier, three yards to the 30. Barker had thrown only two interceptions coming into this game. The one advantage of that last possession for Alabama was they used nine minutes and 53 oh, there's seconds no, there's, of time. There's no question about that, but you hate, given that, you hate to get that far down and not get any yep. points on the board. Three would have been big. Stephen Davis. First man there was number 98, Matt Parker, the junior out of Lawton, Oklahoma. They were in the fourth quarter in Corvallis, Oregon, and Oregon State with a three-point lead over Oregon. UCLA with a 12-point lead now over USC in the third quarter in Los Angeles. The Rose Bowl hanging on a limb and kind of dangling around out there tonight, isn't it? Third down and six now for Auburn. Just inside the Alabama 31. Nix with a pass. Complete to Andrew Fuller, the tight end, and he's got a first down. Fights his way inside the 15. They're going to call him a stop. One man's got it marked at the 16. One man's got it marked at the 14. And they'll put it at the 16. Go from behind the defense. Four, number 82, right there. Fakes the block. Little play action fake. Jeffries, as he did earlier in the game, gave uh, Nix a problem, but this time he gets the ball off to Fuller, and it is a first down. It's a big drive, Keith. Big tight end. Fuller ran over Willie Gaston, and Willie is the man that's hurt. First down, Auburn at the Alabama 16 yard line. A 21 7 game that the Tigers stick it in here. Oh boy. Alabama was all the way down first and goal on the Auburn four and came away with nothing. I've been impressed the uh, second half with Patrick Nix, the way he's come back after a tough first half. Throwing the ball here in the second half. Hands the ball to Davis and he's short of the line of scrimmage. It's number 92 that belted him coming in. Tyrell Buckner, sophomore from Denison, Texas. Alabama defense, Keith. Uh, you go down through the years. In the 90s, they have been the best defense in the country. That's why they have been so good. It is second down and 12. And Willie the, Gaston is back in the ball game, number 22. Alabama defense is awfully tough in the fourth quarter. Only 13 points all year allowed in the fourth quarter. Patrick Nix out of the shotgun. Passes it, bat it down, and intercepted! by Damian Jeffries. What a play. Oh, 
Holy cow. Boy, when something like that's happened, you just don't know what in the world to do. Watch this play. 91. He can't get there. So he sees it's a quick throw. So he jumps in the air. Gets his hand on it. The tackle on that side should keep contact with him so he can't get his hands up. Great play. Let's go back and take another look. Jeffries, 91, is on the left side, just outside the screen. He, he reads the short set. The short set to him means the quarterback's going to throw the ball quickly. I can't get to the quarterback, so let me get some separation from my offensive tackle, and I can jump up and knock the ball down. He didn't expect to catch it, but that is his second interception of the year. Like hitting your thumb with a hammer on the last single. This is Sherman Williams. Second down and five. This is Sherman Williams. First down. Works his way across the 45 and up to the 47. Well, it's another one of consequence for Sherman Williams. Move the team. Six step to the play in the game. It has ebbed and flowed to here in the second half. Alabama won the first half 21 to nothing. Auburn leads the second half 7 to nothing. But overall, it's Alabama. 16 different possessions in the first half, Bob. Yeah. Five in just, the second. Just what I was adding up. <laughs> <laughs> it's so different. I mean, in the first half, you couldn't make first downs. The right. punters were out there all the time. In the second half, they've had four possessions, and they've just come up and down the field. And this is the third one right here. And Williams uh, has 165 yards now. Yeah. Got it again. And he's caught from behind this time. As Chris Shelley runs him down. Dennis Riddle is the tailback now for Alabama. It's second down. And 11. Riddle's got it. Looking around for some daylight. They get a block on Shelley. And Riddle gets just about to midfield. Gotta tell that uh, Gene's got to tell that freshman not to run out of bounds when we're trying to run out the clock here. Talking to Gene last night, and he was saying that uh, I don't think he's going to be so busy in the offseason. He says, I uh, don't think I'm going to do as many of those banquets and those uh, rubber chicken uh, things. He said, I'm gonna a, there's a couple of nice streams not too far yeah. from uh, Tuscaloosa. He says, there's some good hunting around here. He says, I need to reacquaint myself with a little hunting and fishing. Yeah, he'll be in the Red River Valley. That's where he's going. Oh, Riddle got loose. I mean, he got loose almost big time. First down at the 35-yard line. You've got a penalty flag back around the 45-yard line, probably holding. But that's pretty good running by Riddle because he almost broke one big. But here's the penalty against Alabama. Can't do that. Can't usually walk a, her down and block yeah, them. It's like usually a wide anymore. receiver coming and blocking below the waist. Yep. Illegal block, below the waist, back by block, on the offense. 15 yard penalty from the spot of the foul, the two third down. That's a big penalty. You know, with all the hype of this game in the state of Alabama, Auburn and uh, Alabama, Gene was saying, you know, this is not our last game. It is Auburn's last game of the year. But we've got two more games to play. And we've got a big one against Florida coming up in two weeks for the SEC championship. And he says, and that's the one we need to win. That was the third Alabama penalty in the ball game, And it comes all the way back to their 39. So it'll be third down and 16. Riddle and Lynch in the backfield. I don't think they'll throw it. Riddle carries it up to the 45. Alabama is leading 21 to 7. You've got four minutes and 50 seconds to play in the game. The clock is running. They're going to punt now on fourth and 10. And I. If they can hold Auburn somewhere around the middle of the field, I doubt very much you'll see the ball up in the air anymore. Well, Auburn, Auburn needs a, a big play. Auburn needs a block yeah, punt, quickly. Uh, a punt yeah. return. Uh, they need something uh, very quickly to happen. For them. Brian Deal is in to punt. Thomas Bailey is back to return it. Pretty 
good kick by Deal. He runs him all the way back to the six-yard line. There's one block for Bailey. Two, three, and finally down he goes at the 25-26. Well, they're down 21 to seven right now. They have the football at the 26-yard line, their side of the field. That was the 199th career punt return for Thomas Bailey, which ties an NCAA record. Patrick Nix will work out of the shotgun. Two wide left, one wide right. A lot of room in the middle of the field. And Nix picks up about uh, six yards to the 32, and here's Lynn Swan. Keith, you and Bob were talking about the Alabama defense and how well they do in the fourth quarter. Keep in mind that since Terry Bowden took over at Auburn, this unit has not scored less than 22 points only on three occasions. The last time they were held under 22 was well, October 2nd in 1993. They are very capable of getting up very quickly. Keith? Time is now the ally of Alabama. We're inside four minutes. Third, second down and four. That pass just misses. It was thrown low, and uh, Hicks Poor, who had made the big, big catch, sophomore out of Marietta, Georgia, to set up Auburn's uh, touchdown, couldn't reel that one in. I mentioned earlier that, that uh, the wide receiver there, Poor, has never lost a game. It's his second year at Auburn, and Auburn hasn't lost in two years, but in high school, his high school never lost a game. He went to the same high school as uh, Eric Zire. What was that? in Georgia. <laughs> Marietta somewhere. Clark Central or something like that. Yeah. That's an answer. 37. That pass is incomplete. It was intended for Thomas Bailey. Trojans have come back now to post 19 points. They trail UCLA by five. There's a goodly bit of feeling in that one too, I'll have you know as well as that one, BYU and Utah hooking up in Salt Lake. A lot of old neighborhoods couples going on this yes, weekend. Yes, sir, this is the week for them. Yep. All right, it's second down and 10 for Auburn. The ball is out at the 37. Nix runs away from the pressure, throws it, almost picked off by Sam Shade. Sam Shade stepped in front of Thomas Bailey and almost came away with it. It'll be third down and 10. Problem with Auburn is they can't give uh, Nick's time to throw. They're only rushing four men and he's blocking six, but they're rushing him and getting him out of the pocket. Shea hits him at the, uh, the right moment, but uh, he needs some pass protection. Nick's got to stand in the pocket. Fair size play right here. Got a screen for Beasley. First down for Beasley. And Auburn is on the Alabama side of the field. Nice call. Alabama dropping back into some zones. The defensive line are just teeing off and just going uh, out of their lanes to rush the passer. Timeout remaining. Auburn three, Bama two. Time remaining, 3-21. 21 to 7, Alabama lead. Ball is inside the 47. Patrick Nix, sideline. Knocked out at the 39 of Alabama. Pickup is about eight yards. Hicks poor. Made the catch. Poor looks like he might be one of those kind of guys that may not be the fastest fellow in town, but has that uncanny ability to get open. And he's always going to get single coverage as a third receiver because the other two starters are going to attract the best coverage. They can't get much pressure on uh, Nick right now. That ball is thrown to Frank Sanders, and he's down just short of the 30. It's another Auburn first down. And we're coming up to 3.07 to play in the ball game. Officially goes in the book at first down at the 30. 
still no pressure. Ball is thrown out to Beasley. There's a penalty flag. Penalty flag thrown by the back judge way downfield. He had 12 guys on the field. Yep. 12 players on the defense. 15 on penalty. Whoa, is that big? Well, you got 12 players out here, but the linebackers are going to blitz, and when they blitz, somebody's got to cover the back. Now watch, as the safety right here has got to cover that back. When you blitz people, somebody's got to cover the back if he doesn't stay in. Now watch the deep safety come running way out of the secondary to cover the back out of the backfield. That's uh, usually when you blitz, that safety is a lot closer just because of that reason. You got to get up there for your coverage. But that time, they disguised it real well. So it's a, that's a big penalty, obviously. It's a big penalty. That's redundant. Put the ball down on the 12-yard line. Well, they got it on the 13-yard line. You need to score. You need to get the ball in pretty quickly. You can't take a lot of time down here. And you certainly can't run the ball because if you run it, the clock's going to continue to run. Two minutes and 53 seconds to play in the ball game. This time they got some pressure. Ball thrown into the end zone and out of the end zone. In, that ball was caught by an Alabama man, Tommy Johnson, but he was out of bounds. Coming again, throws quickly, Sanders caught it, shakes loose, dives to the goal line, down to the one. The clock is running. It's a At nice call, yeah. 2.38 to play in the game. That call beats the double coverage and also takes care of the blitz. Sanders was a kid that two years ago when Bowden first came here had a bad attitude and a bad disposition and was about this close to being out of here, but he straightened up and is one of the team leaders. Quarterback sneak, touchdown, Auburn. So it's a gutty march by the Auburn Tigers, led by Patrick Nix, 19 out of 35 now, 207 yards and two rushing touchdowns. And they get their second touchdown at 2.23 to play in the ball game. Remember, I know Steve uh, Spurrier watching this game knows that Auburn can throw and come from behind. Yes, Andrews made that big catch against him. Yes, he did. The extra point is good. So it is 21 to 14 at 223 to play in the game. Matt Hawkins will kick off. It reads onside from here. Alabama's got all the good hands people up on the receiving line. And so does Auburn. There it is. There's the big bounce. Parrot Lynch, number 45, looked to be the man who went up in the air, put it on his numbers, and cradled it to the earth. And Alabama has possession with two minutes and 20 seconds to play in the game. Trying to get the big bounce. He has stayed down a little bit longer to allow the Auburn players to get a little bit closer. That's a nice play by Lynch to hang on. That was a pretty good kick, though. It, it, Stayed down a good long time. Needed to get it a little bit higher, a little bit yep. more spin, a little higher. All right, Alabama now may need one first down. Remember, Auburn has three timeouts remaining. There's one right there. That leaves them two, stopping the clock. It's a matter of time now. Auburn, two timeouts remaining. Two minutes and 15 seconds to play. Alabama leads 21 to 14. Chad Key will go to the top of the picture. Patrick Malone to the bottom of the picture. I don't think you're going to see the ball thrown around here. It's handed off to Dennis Riddle. 
the freshman tailback. And he gains to about the 44. And Auburn calls for another timeout. They've got one left. And as you can see, two will wait to play. It is third down and eight. Will they throw it here? No way. They give it to Riddle. And he runs it down to the 40. And it is fourth down. And there's a penalty flag thrown in the backfield area of Alabama. That's probably bad news. Well, let's see about it. Clock shows 154. Dead ball, ball start on the offense. Did not have had a snap. You got to put some seconds back on the clock then. Uh, yep, they do. It's a dead ball foul. There was no play. UCLA has banged another one in. The lead by 12 over USC. And Utah has come back to take the lead over BYU. Wisconsin. Wisconsin's had a month to forget for a lot of reasons, but leading in that ball game. They should put some time back. Yeah, he's just telling the clock operator to add the uh, add the time back. Since there since it was a dead ball foul, there was no play. They just added the seconds back to 208. All right, it's third down and 13 now for Alabama. And the Auburn defense eats them up. Auburn now with no more timeouts remaining. Alabama will be punting. Auburn's going to get the ball with just a little less than two minutes to work with. Deal. Gets it out of there, gets a high spinner. Beautiful kick. Bounces sideways. Bounces sideways. It's down on the one foot away from the goal line. Holy smokes. What a kick. Eric Turner went down there and caught it short of the goal line. Well, that's the Alabama play. They play defense, field position. Kicking game and a little tab at offense. And Stallings wants good kickers, good putters, and good place kickers. And when, the, when he needs it, there's where it left. You know what? They've been taking lessons from Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> and here's He's where it ended up. Boy. Unbelievable. That ball jumped sideways. It just didn't, it was afraid of the end zone. He almost stepped in, but he got away with it. So that's as far away from the Alabama goal line as Auburn could start. And next turns to Bill Goss, and he says, I can't, my teammates can't hear my call. They're going to burn the clock off. That don't make no never mind. Makes no never Delay mind. Delay a game. <laughs> it's two it's inches. It's half the distance to the goal line. It's, you know, you're going to move it back a quarter of an inch. <laughs> 1.45 remaining to play. Pass down the sidelines just beyond the racing Thomas Bailey. He could have hit it. Yep. Because Bailey did outrun the corner on that side. who was Townsend. A lot of grit in these two football teams, I'll tell you that. Auburn did it earlier this year against Florida at Florida. Goes the other way, completes the pass to Beasley in the end zone. Beasley got around the corner. Got out of bounds at the 15 for a first down, stopping the clock at 129. It's a good play. You just need something to get you going. Get, get you out where you got some maneuverability. Look at those eyes of Nick's. You think he's not locked in and honed in on what's going on? He is a different player this half than he was the first half. He's getting a little bit better protection, too.
Pass is completed out to the 27. Caught by Thomas Bailey. That's another first down. Clock stops when you make a first down. 121 to play. Only long enough to move the chain, so you need to get your offensive team up there and ready to go. Alabama sitting in a three deep zone. They're going to have to blitz sooner or later to get some pressure. That's Sanders. And Sanders has got eight or nine yards out to the 31, 36 yard line. Now they do these drills each and every week. This is called a two minute drill and it's part of the weekly practice schedule. So Auburn has done this and I'm sure at times they've started from within their own five or 10 yard line. So and conversely Alabama goes against a two minute drill every week also. Second down and one. You really can't afford to run it. Oh, there's no runs in this drill. Pressure. They chase him out. They miss him again. He's got his first down all the way to midfield. And uh, though he used some time to get his first down, the clock stops at 1.01 to play. And now it's just across midfield. Patrick Nix is a is a hundred times better ball player the second half than he was the first half. Ball is slapped aside, incomplete. The only Damian problem Jeffries. is Damian Jeffries. He's got a little bit of a slow release. You, Jeffries sees it coming and he gets his hands up. By a slow release, I mean but from the time you make up your mind to throw it, see the little wind up that he's got. Jeffries sees it coming. That's Riley, number 68. He's the true freshman. He needs to keep more contact on the defensive man to keep his hands down. 52 seconds to play, second and 10. Pressure this time. Ball is thrown incomplete. And there's the penalty flag. Oh, this could be expensive. Pick it up. There's no foul. Pick it up. No foul. Okay. Didn't explain exactly why. Unless somebody threw it in anticipation, it didn't happen. 46 seconds remaining to play in the ball game. Auburn, five out of 13 on third down conversion. Ball is just across midfield. Nix throws to Beasley, and Beasley is thrown out of bounds. At the 43, just near the 42, stopping your clock at 38 seconds. Well, we're doing a nice job of working the ball down. They're across midfield. They've got 38 seconds to go. If you throw it in the center of the field, you need a first down to stop the clock. You've got fourth and three coming up. Yeah, that's the, that's the main thing. You need to pick up a first down anywhere on the field now. I don't care where it is, inside or outside, you need a first yep. down. Fourth and three. Sanders over the middle, didn't no. get it. He didn't get it. No, sir. He turned on the 40-yard line. He had to go inside the 40, and he never, ever got across that 40-yard line that I could see. Shade and Johnson ripped him right on the 40. I don't believe he made it. It'll be so close. Auburn says yes. Alabama says no. They didn't make it. I mean, it couldn't have been more than, than an inch. And there's a penalty flag thrown. Dean Stallings is yelling at his people to get out of the way. And one of the Auburn players may have said something. Well, you knew it was close when Bill Goss, the referee, had to get down there and look at it real closely.
Well, there's the relief and the joy on the Alabama side. And there was the disbelief and despair on the Auburn side. 31 seconds remaining. Unsportsmanlike conduct call. And it's going the other way. Frustration prompted that. It must have been close. It looked like it couldn't have been more than an inch. It's been 21 games since Terry Bowden tasted defeat. He'll wear it well. Patrick Nix is apologizing because it was Patrick that jumped up and challenged the call and got the flag. Now Alabama has to kill 31 seconds on the clock. And if Alabama wins this ball game, it'll be the 44th win for the senior class. That's remarkable. Take a look at that last play from the left side. Sanders is going to slant in, catches the ball right there on the line, and double coverage as he's had all day stopped him short of the first down. Sam Shade had the leverage, number 31, and simply would not let him inside the 40-yard line. And Johnson had the tackle. Shade had the leverage to push him back, and that was the difference of an inch. And now you know why they play these kind of games. 